so that if a person or a recruiter is looking for a web developer and he looks at your introduction and he'll know okay so you are a web developer and then he'll go on and look at your other parts of the profile then your resume might get ranked better from everybody else because you have used all these keywords in your resume and maybe you can also include a photo or a video of your working model of that project Hey guys and welcome to another video on the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. I am Sahil Saluja and I'll be taking you through this video. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to actually apply for jobs on LinkedIn. What can we do to get shortlisted in different companies and how we can actually first of all get an interview opportunity at a company. So let's talk about all of that in this video. So in this video, we'll talk about how we can build our LinkedIn profile, how we can keep our LinkedIn profile updated, how we can make posts on our LinkedIn profile. And then we'll talk about how we can actually apply for jobs. There are two steps to do that. The first step is actually to apply from job section of the LinkedIn website. And the second step is to get reference from different people who are working in a particular company that you also want to work. So how we can text them, how we can send a message to a person who we have never talked to before in life. So what are the do's and don'ts and how we can just send the message, perfect message so that we can get a referral from them. We'll talk about all of that in this video. So let's just get started. So the first thing that we should talk about is what is LinkedIn? So LinkedIn is a social networking website for professionals to connect with different professionals to also learn and also to share their achievements, their skills and everything that they have done till now in their career. Right. So the first step to do that is to build your profile. And that is also our uh, first topic that we wanted to talk about. First thing is that we should build our profile so that if any recruiter is looking at our profile, he knows exactly what I have achieved in my life and what are all my strengths and what are all the technologies that I know. Right. So for that, building our profile is the first step. Whenever we apply from LinkedIn to any company, the recruiter there would actually give a look at your LinkedIn profile and that is why we need to build it. So let's talk about what are the steps and what all we should include in our LinkedIn profile to build it. So the first thing that we need to put is a good profile picture. And by that, I mean that we want to put a formal photo. A formal high resolution photo where your face is clearly visible that will do right we want to put first of all a good formal profile photo the second thing that we need to set is our introduction or our tagline so you would have noticed this on linkedin that everybody has a single line or a two line intro for themselves in which they mention their experience and what all they have done till now and what they are doing right now so when a recruiter who has not a lot of time on his hand, who just gives a one glance to your LinkedIn profile gets to know everything about you from that only two lines from those two lines, he'll get to know everything about you. So for example, if I tell you my introduction on LinkedIn, it is that upcoming a software development engineer at Shell, ex software development intern at Deutsche Telekom Digital Labs and ex teaching assistant at Coding Ninjas in data success and algorithms. So by this, I have told them my top achievements, where I have worked till now, where I'm going to work later on and what are my strengths. So I have strength in data structures and algorithms and I have worked in it as well. So I've mentioned all of these things here. So you would also want to mention your top achievements here and what you are working on right now here. So you can also mention that you are working on web development. If you have made any projects on web development, you can mention them as well here. So that if a person or a recruiter is looking for a web developer and he looks at your introduction and he'll know, okay, so you are a web developer and then he'll go on and look at your other parts of the profile to know if you are a fit for the particular job he's hiring for. So the second step is to write a good introduction for yourself. Now, the third thing that you would want to do is to write your work experience. So if you have done any internships or if you have done any job in any company, you would want to mention that on your profile as well. Right. So not only that, you would want to write a summary of all the things that you have done. So let's say 
you have done an internship at any particular company so you would want to write a paragraph on all the things that you have done in that company the project that you had worked on what are all the things that you have learned from that project what were the tech stacks that were involved in that project and maybe the top goals of that project and what goals you were able to achieve there what was your role in that project you can mention all of that in that summary so if anybody reads that he'll know that okay you have actually worked in your internship and this is not any make believe internship that you have just mentioned for uh, name sake right so that is why we need to write a proper description of all the experience that you are going to put there on your profile now the fourth thing would be to actually mention the projects that you have worked on so you can write about the different projects you have done till now again you would want to write a summary for it you would want to write the project goals what you were able to achieve what were your accuracy in the project all of these things and maybe you can provide a link for that project as well if you have posted that on github or you are hosting that particular project on aws on heroku so you can actually provide that link to that project as well so that the person can actually go and visit your project on that particular link now the fifth thing can be that you should also write about the certifications that you have got until now it is not important but if you have any certifications you can put them there as well so all of these things if you put on your linkedin you'll have a decent profile set up for you and after that you can go ahead and update it regularly when you learn more things so that is our second point that we want to keep our linkedin profile update so how can we do that so let's say you set up your linkedin profile in your first year of engineering right so over the course of 4 years you'll learn new technologies you'll work on new projects you'll learn new skills right so you would want to keep updating your profile by making different posts every time you learn everything new so let's say you were working on a project so first of all you would have learned the technologies involved in that project right so let's say you were working on a project of lstm so you can actually write a post a paragraph on your linkedin talking about that first of all how you learned about lstms what are lstms and how you have used them in your project and maybe you can also include a photo or a video of your working model of that project so that if any recruiter is visiting your profile on linkedin and is hiring for a person who is good in machine learning who is good at lstms when he'll see that post that oh he has worked on lstm and he has done this project then he'll give you maybe a chance to interview at his company so that is why we want to keep on posting and keep on updating our linkedin profile every time so that if any recruiter visits our website he can see all of these things that he is active on linkedin and all of these uh, projects he has worked on he'll be able to see them as well and also we want to put our resume as well for building our profile so we'll also push our uh, resume there on our profile for anybody to see so now that we have built our profile we just need to actually apply for these companies so how we can do that we can do that in two steps the first one can be to apply for the job openings on the job section of the linkedin website so we can go to the job section of the linkedin profile and find all the openings related to our field so let's say we are a software developer we'll be looking for different job openings for the software developer role right So as soon as we see a opening for that we'll open the job description and look at the different technologies and the things that they require from us what are all the things that they are looking for and if we match all of these things if we have all these skills we can apply for that particular position from that opening as well okay we can do that there one thing we, we can do to get our resume shortlisted is that we can actually include all the keywords that they have mentioned in the job description in our resume as well so if the company uses a resume shortlister automatic resume shortlister then your resume might get ranked better from everybody else because you have used all these keywords in your resume right so you shouldn't mention anything you don't learn because you would have to justify your resume in the interviews later on but include all those things that you have knowledge about so that your resume gets shortlisted more often than not right 
this is one hack you can use to get better uh, shortlisting in different companies when you apply for different openings because there's a lot of competition on LinkedIn, right? Any opening has a lot of applicants. You'll see that 700, 800 people apply for that particular job opening and that is why you would have to do all of these hacks to get better shortlisting. You would want your resume to get ranked better than everybody else. Now, one way around this can be if you don't want to deal with all of this competition, then one way you can do is that you can get referrals from people who are working in that particular company. So let's say you want to work in Microsoft. The first thing you would want to do is look for people who are also working in Microsoft. You would want to send them a message and ask them to give you guys a referral. If you can get a referral from them, then you'll get an interview opportunity. And that is one way to do that. So since there's a lot of competition when you apply from these job openings on the website, you can get a referral from people who are working. there. Now you can find these people on LinkedIn. You can ask your seniors to give you referrals. But if you don't know anybody who's working in a particular company, you also want to work in what you can do is you can find them on LinkedIn and send them a connection request. After that, you want to send them a very precise and a good message so that you can get a referral from them. So for example, let's say you are sending me a message. You don't know me and you want me to give you a referral. So you don't want to start the conversation from hi Sahil, how are you doing? Because you don't know what will be the turnaround of this message, right? And I also wouldn't know what you want from me. There's less possibility of me texting you back that hi, how can I help you? But instead, if you let your intentions known to me in your first message, what do you want from me in the first message that I'm looking for a referral for this particular job ID? If you tell me all of that in the first message itself, then actually if I am generous enough or maybe to the person who you are sending the message, if he has the time to do that, he'll send you the message. Yeah, I'll do that for you. But for sure, nobody is going to send you a reply back if you send only a hi. Right? That if you only uh, write hey XYZ, uh, then there's very less possibility that they'll reply you back that hey, how can I help? All right, so now we can talk about what should be our template of sending any random person a message on LinkedIn asking for a referral. How we can send them a message? What are the do's when we are sending a message? So we would want to include that we are looking for a referral from you. You would want to include a resume in that message. We would also want to include that we have the required skills for this job. And also we would want to include the job ID for which we are looking to get a referral for because there are a lot of job openings in a particular company and the person you are asking the referral from wouldn't have the time to look at all the job openings. And that is why you should also send a job opening for the particular uh, job uh, you want a referral for. Right. So these are all the things that you should include in your message. So one uh, template would be that hi XYZ. I'm a software developer and I have the required skills that are required for this particular job. And I'll be really grateful if you could give me a referral in this particular uh, for this particular job. Here's the job ID. Here is my resume. Please let me know if you can give me a referral or not. Then if they're generous enough, they can, they'll reply you back that, okay, I'm going to give you a referral here, right? So this can be your set template for sending anybody a message on LinkedIn and getting a referral from them, right? So yeah, that is it. You can apply using these two ways on LinkedIn and by, if you have a good uh, profile on LinkedIn, then you'll get better chances of getting shortlisted in these companies. Right? So let me just give you a recapitulation of all the things we have talked about in this video. So we have talked about that we need to build a profile, a really good profile. We need to include all of these things. We need a good profile picture. We need a intro, a good intro, a good tagline. We need to include our work experiences. We need to put all the projects that we have done. And after that, we can apply for these jobs using the job section of the LinkedIn. And the second step is getting referrals from seniors, getting referrals from random people or recruiters on LinkedIn, right? And I've also told you the template in which you can send a message to these people. Yeah, this is it. So thank you guys. I hope you have liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe and comment on this video. Also do remember to subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.